Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Abishai, by Hashem Rakar Kodash. The honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations unto our fellow laborers. The confusion of faith brothers joined unto our ranks. To the uh, hopefully elect, the Akwaf that are listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. Uh, this is your brother Malcolm from the branch of GMS here in Chicago. Coming at you with another lesson. And of course, the subject is the mark of the beast, which is the microchip, the RFID microchip. This is Revelation 14 and 9. And it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of power which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the lamb so many people in sweden are lining up lining up to get these microchips that the country's main chipping company says that it can't even keep up with the number of requests really what in no the way I would do that. What in the Illuminati Mark of the Beast <laughs> witchcraft is going on over there in Sweden? Wow. And Steve, this is happening here. I don't want to get biblical, but you know I've heard about this Mark of the Beast business my whole life. I think it's true. I think I think biblical prophecy. The more I'm I'm hearing about this, everything we do. So we can talk about this, but this isn't coming. It's, it's here, here. Right. And, and, and in China, this is the tip of the proverbial iceberg. Couldn't sleep, so I came to the church. In the middle of the night, Pastor John Gray took to Instagram to speak with his followers about the anniversary gift he gave his wife of eight years. Pastor John Gray, he leads the relentless church down in South Carolina. It's an evangelical mega church with some 22,000 members, many of whom weren't so happy when they learned of his very generous gift. This morning's outrage at the pulpit. Get that in your spirit. John Gray, a mega church pastor in Greenville, South Carolina, speaking out after facing fierce criticism for buying his wife a $200,000 Lamborghini. First of all, it wasn't a pastor that bought the car. It was a husband that bought the car. And I won't ask permission from anybody to do it. Video surfaced this week of the pastor presenting the car to his wife in celebration of their eight year wedding anniversary. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 5. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. This man also has put a razor to his head and it's clearly in the law that you're not supposed to do so. And he's not teaching the congregation nor the people about the mark of the beast or the chip, which is the RFID microchip. This is Revelation, the 13th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 15, and it reads, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. 
Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Well, many people in Sweden are lining up, lining up to get these microchips that the country's main chipping company says that it can't even keep up with the number of requests. Really? What in no the way I would do that. What in the Illuminati Mark of the Beast <laughs> witchcraft is going on over there in wow. Sweden? And Steve, this is happening here. I don't want to get biblical, but you know, I've heard about this Mark of the Beast business my whole life. I think it's true. I think I think biblical prophecy. The more I'm I'm hearing about this, everything we do. So we can talk about this, but this isn't coming. It's, it's already here. here. Right. And, and, and in China. Over there in wow. Sweden. And Steve, this is happening here. I don't want to get biblical, but you know, I've heard about this Mark of the Beast business my whole life. I think it's true. I think I think biblical prophecy. The more I'm, I'm hearing about this, everything we do. So we can talk about this, but this isn't coming. It's, it's here. already here. Right. I mean, and, Call